The federal government faced another barrage today over its spy programs. A civil liberties group is suing the communications security establishment, alleging it listens in on overseas phone calls and collects information from personal emails of Canadians. And as Jacques Bourbeau reports, the civil liberties group calls it an illegal invasion of our privacy. It's a shadowy organization, most of what it does shielded from the public eye. But the little we do know about what goes on inside CSEC, Canada's electronic spy agency, worries civil liberties groups. Imagine living in a Canada where your government can listen to your phone call without a court warrant. It sounds unbelievable, yet this is what CSEC is doing. And the BC Civil Liberties Association is hoping to put an end to this surveillance, launching a lawsuit claiming CSEC's monitoring of Canadians is both illegal and unconstitutional. It says CSEC crosses the legal line with its powers to monitor Canadians when they communicate with someone outside the country, and its collection of metadata, who you call, what websites you visit. And all this can be done without a court warrant. All CSEC needs is the blessing of the Minister of National Defence. When there are no or no effective checks on the spy, it is obvious that the spy will engage in espionage that goes far beyond what would ever be permitted by a system of prior authorization by the, by the judiciary. Defence Minister Rob Nicholson was not available for comment. A spokesperson telling Global News, CSEC is prohibited from targeting Canadians. An explanation that doesn't wash with the opposition. Modern democracy requires more than just assurances by the, uh, the persons in power that uh, they're, doing what, they're doing the right thing. CSEC's spying abroad has landed it in hot water. Revelations it was monitoring Brazil's Ministry of Mines and Energy created an uproar in that country. Now CSEC will have to explain to the courts why it should be allowed to focus its sophisticated snooping equipment on Canadians when they place a call or send an email across the border. Jopper Beau, Global News, Ottawa.